Welcome everyone to another video on Wolfpack. Um, in this one we solved some of the gamma issues. I turned the gamma up a little bit more. It is another night mission so those kind of should be there but uh, another issue that we're having right now is um, you can see contacts further away at the periphery of your vision versus so we, we basically call them peripheral versus visual contacts. <laughs> um, and the last thing is in this one because I crashed and loaded it in again I don't see the crew, our other two crew members, but uh, we'll work around those problems. This is a really exciting convoy hunt, so enjoy. Oh, All right, I'm time to dive to boot. Captain is awake. Really? Oh, for another. Oh, gosh. I locked Tortuga up on the bridge. Uh oh. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Also, I'm the captain. This is a mutiny. Don't worry, it'll take a while to dive the boat. Alright, so we've almost gone five kilometers. Should should we dive then? No, I would I usually try to go ten before I You usually are going the right direction. It's pretty hard to get the hydrophones wrong. I don't think the depth sound I don't think there is depth in the game yet. No, there's not. I was just looking at it, though. I've used it a few times, and I did a mission in the the Baltic uh, Yeah, it's sea. not. J just it's to see not. if it... Nothing. Yeah, the depths... There's actually not a seabed, apparently. The Endless Dive. That is how we go. I just, I really want it to be, like, I, I know that we have peripheral contacts and then visual contacts. I really want the binoculars to trump that. Why don't they just limit, even if they have that goofy thing where you can see a little bit further at the periphery, make it so that your binoculars gives you, like, an, another kilometer of range so that it's always still better to use your binoculars. That would be really helpful. You want me to put the observation down? I'm not using it. Gets in the way. Yeah, they kind of they need to think of a workaround to the the peripheral contacts because it's really annoying. Yeah. Yeah. And also, they need to fix the uso so it's you don't use it in your way <laughs> all the time. Because like having that <laughs> observation scope raised all the time is a little a little wonky looking. Yeah. Can you lower that um, observation? Yeah, yeah. Or are you using it? I was using it, but there's no reason if you guys... Oh, were you can use it. I thought it was just, Man. you know, hanging out. Go ahead and use it. I can climb up to uh, the attack periscope if need. No, no, no. no the no, dive planes are pre-positioned for a 20 degree dive, by the way. Does All that affect speed? Alright, I have peripheral contacts no. dead ahead. You do? Oh. They are moving left to right, so that would be east. Maybe. At least I haven't noticed a speed change. Like, we're going 18 knots. I don't think we go 19. Yeah, I was just wondering. I feel like that would... It should. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the dive plane. I feel like there's a lot of little things that aren't modeled yet. Yeah, definitely left to right. It's <clears throat> quite a few of them. Alright, prepare oh, to... Oh my gosh, this convoy's huge. Oh my that gosh. Alright, they're visual contacts I mean, now. All small. Wait, no. They aren't. Are they? No, they're not. Yeah, this is a pretty thick convoy. Yeah, we can visual contact. Alright, full right rudder. Full right rudder eye. Make my, my heading right 20 degrees. 100. 
I mean, I feel like you can even see the targets clear without the binoculars. Holy cow, this is I think a huge it's just fleet. the kind of white. Yeah, this is crazy. Do you see a destroyer? No, not yet. We're getting we're closing with these guys. I think they're angled towards us. Make my heading one two zero. One two zero I passing to the right of one zero zero. Passing to the right of one zero zero I. Our course is one two zero. Roger. Or steady on one two zero. There's another merchant ship behind it. <laughs> I might not have been seeing that one correctly. Okay, so this is another one. Is mass mass funnel king. Okay. Diagonal, two cranes. Destroyer! Bearing? Uh, uh, bearing, it's like 20 degrees off our bow. It's a tribal. Oh shit. Take us under. Flooding forward. Let me know when the top side is. Hatch down. Switching to electric. Hitting the aft flood. We have a pretty good shot, Tortuga, <laughs> on the destroyer. Are you on the attack periscope? Are you on the attack periscope, Wolf? That's perfect. Yeah, I was. Okay, I can't see you. Damn it, your character model is rendering because I joined late. Uh, I was like, why can't I get in? <laughs> uh, no, that destroyer is like in a perfect spot. <clears throat> Alright, one sec. Wow. Tanks half flooded. Okay. I've got movement on the depth. Take us down to periscope depth. One, one meters. Oh, so you want both periscopes? Yeah. I'm legitimately shocked this guy doesn't see us. Can you tell me what center radiance he's at? Nine. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> What's his mass type? What's the... Let me check. It's a tribal. 26? Uh, mass height's 32 meters. 32, so he's 1.4 kilometers out. That's pretty far. Shoot, I wiggled 50 he seconds. He seems so much closer. I'm guessing his... What's his length? I mean, I can I can verify it, never mind. Conan and Coward is a wash. <clears throat> okay. We are now below. It's 115.50. One one meter depth. Alright, hold her steady here if you can. Still trying to find the right trim for it. 115 divided by 50. It's two point something. Four. Four knots. He's at four knots. That does not make sense. What's the center reading now? We have to take a shot it at it. Is. It's 10. Kind of kind of at a bad angle now, though. But if we slow down, we're pretty in a good position for the rest of the convoy. Look. We're doing uh, five knots. All right, I'm putting on the attack. Yeah, ten, which makes his distance one point three. I think we still have a shot at this guy. If we launch a three okay. spread, we should hit him. A three spread. Yeah, give me five knots as for speed. Okay. Roger, stand by. Um, sorry, that's his speed, target speed. Yeah, I got you. Roger. Take us down a head slow. 
Ahead slow. Both ends. AOB. Mm. That was kind of... Let's say... He's heading away, right? So like 120? Oh, he is? Yeah, you're right. I thought he was heading towards, but I think you're right. Yeah, okay. Yep. Our speed is 120. Just uh, length of the, is like 110. Let's make it 120. Shoot. Let's shoot three. Let me see. Is his okay? So my this is going to be a tough shot. He's coming under 10 now, so he's probably. What's our current speed? Three knots. Yeah, I think you're right. It's going to be a tough shot. Okay, well, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and just target speed. If he's only doing five, we can uh, overtake him underwater. Yeah, we can, but I think we'll just launch but the convoy. And when he comes after us, we'll do some fancy maneuvering. I'm going to go for this uh, merchant alongside of us. Make my heading... Give me 20 degrees to port. Whatever that takes us to. I'll take us to 100. Zero, zero. Uh, give me a moment to mark that on the... Actually, we have a current position. Never mind. Coming left to one zero zero. Roger. Okay, mass king. Uh, mass. We slowed down, so we came up enough. That's why we got a current position. Masking funnel mat. Wait. Masking funnel mast. Multi crane in front, one crane in the rear. Multi crane in front, one crane in the rear. This looks like it. Heavy freighter type 15 is our lead merchant ship. Yep. 40 mast height. Length is 140 meters. Can you plug in 140 meters? Okay. Yeah. Can I get night light? Underneath, Alekius. I think I'm at 11. Yeah, stand by. Ah, oh, perfect. Course. 11. I think. 11. I think I can 40. actually see both of you. 11. Can I get a distance of 11? Uh, at 40. 14.5, so 1.45 meters. Me, 80 degrees AOB. Target speed is. Wait, one. Let's put five in. Five? Okay, and what did you say range was? Uh, 1.5. What other settings do you need? Um, that should be good. Alright, give me two torpedoes, just two. Okay. I'm gonna time this guy, though. So we can get an accurate. How's our trim, Alecky? Are you able to keep us right around 11? We are at 12 and a half. At 12 and a half is fine. I mean, mostly I was thinking of keeping it a little shallower just so that we had an opportunity to look on the observation. Observation is at 14.5. Attack is useful up to 16. Okay, this is going to be... What's the length of this ship? What did I say the length was? You said it was 140, but that gave us an almost 5 degree spread. Do you want that? That's fine, that's fine. That is fine? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so... Okay. We have to launch, otherwise this lead one is going to get in our way. Give me a... Shoot. This lead one is going to get in the way. But that's fine. I think, it's, I th I think we can still do it. All right, he's Not at 13. Really no, no, make that, f let's just say 14. Shoot. I think the torpedoes can still get in front, but the he's now blocked. Do you think our torpedoes can squeak in front of this guy? Oh, uh, well, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. All 
Uh, Destroyer is making its way back towards us. Like, is, can you, or um, can somebody jump on the hydrophone? Make sure we're not getting pinged. Sure, stand by. Oh, good God. There's noises everywhere. His, he would be at 35 reg, um, relative. I definitely hear a different kind of screw in that direction. Okay. Merchant screws everywhere and then destroyer screws at from 30 to 50. <laughs> no pinging. Just the screws. What is 8 on the lower one? Four, okay, this guy's 400 meters away. Great. <laughs> I still on range. Okay, so um, give me a two port. Yeah, so we still have the old one locked in, right? The old data locked in? Yeah. But everything's automatic, updates automatically if you swing the scope mast, around. Mast, 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 funnel. Okay. Don't, don't worry about it yet. I'm gonna wait for this guy to get ahead of us. He's at zero. We're gonna have to launch a little bit. We're gonna. I just need to let him get a little further ahead. Trying to keep our position up to date on the nav map as well. The heavy, the the freighter I told you, the like 140 meter length one. Can you verify that its mast height is, or just verify what its mast height is and what its um, length is? What was the name of it? Shit, I have it. I'll just look it up. Yeah, sorry. That's alright. I'm just doing a timer on it. Looks like 50 seconds for it to cross through. So 50. Let me check what it was. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Heavy freighter type 15. 140 meters. 140 divided by 47. Okay, make their um, speed six knots. Six knots, okay. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, give me a rear tube. <laughs> oh my god, they're, they're passing on every side. They're passing on every side. There's some coming right at us. Holy cow. Okay, oh. turn two. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, all right. Um, center radians. That one is at 12 zoomed in. What does that bring, gives us? 40 Set height? 40, 12. 12. Okay, give me, give me 1.3. Give me angle bow 110. 110, uh, AOB. Left? Starboard. Starboard? Yeah. Two torpedoes? Oh, so you want the forward tubes now? Yeah, sorry. Four torpedoes. Give me a two. We're going to need the rears in a second. Wow. Okay. Ready? Ready. All set. Close. Just two minutes. One minute, 24 seconds. One more, 24. Okay. Give me the another set in the front. Um, distance to target is... I'm just gonna guess this is like one more time. Three hundred. Uh, just give me like four hundred meters. <clears throat> four hundred meters. Yep. Plugged in. Leave the length at maybe hundred. Bring the length down to hundred thirty. Angle okay. bow is eighty. Starboard. 
All right, everything's ready. Okay, Los. Okay, give me the rear. Five. I'm timing the second set. 50 give me, give me zero range on the rear. Give me zero range on the rear. Uh, okay. Zero speed, I mean. Just give me free fire. Okay. Two five ready. All Los. right, I have two merchants struck. All right, prepare to dive us. Prepare to dive the boat. But don't yet, because maybe we can get something else. I free-fired the last one. Let's see if this one hits. <laughs> All torpedoes. I think I think the third one struck an unintended target or Because it's right on the back. I got him! I got him with the free-fire. <laughs> oh, he's just going up. Okay, just let me know if any torpedoes um, come become available again. Give me a hard right rudder. Make our new heading 70 degrees starboard. Whatever that puts us at. Uh, that'll put us at 170. Hard right rudder. Our rudder is right 35. No ship sunk yet, though. Oh, did you see that big passenger liner? Where? Uh, 211 right now. 211, uh, okay, let me look. I'm like 205 now. Oh, okay, okay, um, sorry, full, yeah, full right rudder, just keep swinging us around, Alekius. Take us exactly yes. to whatever is 180 degrees from this. <laughs> right now? Yeah, just keep go. Just drive us around in a circle. Yeah, but you want 180 degrees from when you said, just keep us going around. I'll um, just keep going right, okay, and I'll, uh, I'll give you yeah. something relative to sure up on. So give me. Yeah, I see the passenger's eye. We'll go for that next. I'm assuming the forward tubes will be available. This is a huge convoy. Yeah, tube one's already ready. Okay, good. So give me 130 degrees starboard of our current heading. Okay, 130. Wait, is tube one ready? Because I don't think that this line, first guy I hit is going to go down. Yeah, tube one's ready. I might need to just put another one in him. Make my course 300. Zero, zero. That guy's not going down either. So two of them, I think we missed with two torpedoes, I believe. What's our current speed? Three knots. Can you take us down to all ahead slow? No sign of any destroyers. At slow. Two five ready. Roger. So many targets. I feel like a dog chasing tires. This passenger liner is doing a lot of zigzagging. All right, Alecky, hold steady up on this course. Give me one torpedo at zero. Uh, shoot, this thing is actually hauling butt, even though I'm, we already hit it. G uh, just give me um, free fire. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Wait, tube one or four? Five. D uh, front tubes. Give me one front tube. Okay, tube one. Alright, Los. 30 knots, I think that'll get her. Okay. Our course is 245. Our this speed is freaking passenger liner is gonna run us over. Give me left 40 degrees. Make my course 200. 
Got her. <laughs> the free fire, it worked. <laughs> the 23. No, wow. no, don't. Don't we want to keep fighting? Oh, the game's gonna <laughs> end, isn't it? Two, four, ready. I right, like it's just hold on this course. No, oh my god, this freaking passenger liner is gonna run us over. Steady on two two zero. All right, belay that. Take us left, thirty five degrees. On the double. Give me a free fire on tube five. Yeah. Ready. I just throw the rudder left, and I'll tell you when to steady up. Roger. Proper commands for that are steady as she goes, or meet her. Those do different things, though. I, you'll have to explain that. <laughs> Those are proper commands of steady on this course, whatever it is. Just steady as she goes. And as soon as the rudder is centered, um, or steady as she goes, it's whatever the course is this moment, and I'll come back to that course. Meet her is literally just center the rudder and let me know. Yeah, rudder amidship right now. What it, what it. Tell me when she's centered. Centered. Course is 175. All right, 2-5. Two 2-5 five. Two five ready. Los. Expected impact in 20 seconds. Who's next? Two four ready. Roger. All right, give me left 60 degrees. No, give me left 50 degrees. Should have impact right about now. Come left, course one, two, five. Waiting on impact. Uh, I don't know if I got her. That was our last turn, too. Well, I don't know how I missed. It could have been a dud. Crap. Well, Was it less than 300 meter rain? I mean, it's possible. For the passenger liner, are there a lot of them, or can you easily identify it? I can I easily identify it. Give it to me. Two stacks. Three stacks. Three stacks. Okay, does it have a radio antenna? In the Negative. Alright, identified. <laughs> okay, which one? Uh, passenger liner type 5, length 170, draft 8 meters... Mass height is 38. 38. 38, okay, and this thing's at, like, well, now it's at, like, 11, not zoomed in. Not zoomed in? Yeah. Yeah, it might have been too close. Hey, give me, uh, okay, so let me target this other. Man, they just keep coming. Okay, yeah, Steady it's... Steady on course, okay, one, two, five. give me... <sighs> Mast... Two, two and four, ready. Oh, this guy's getting away. Okay, forget it. Full right rudder. The merchant, the Full passenger right, liners right. are worth more, right? To us? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's pretty... Full right rudder. My rudder is right 30 degrees. This passenger liner is 15,000 tons. Okay, so this passenger liner... Wait, say that again, how many? 15,000? 15,000, 15, I. Wow. So, for uh, half of our mission. <laughs> <laughs> Not that, we, that matters okay, anymore. Okay, distance but. to target is, let's say, 5 center radians. Not zoomed. This is the liner? Correct. So, that puts her at 800 meters. Okay. Yeah. Um, speed is wait one. Oh, we're we're turning. Never mind. I'm just gonna guess seven knots. What's her maximum okay. speed? Fourteen. She 
might be booking it. I don't know. Still to the right of one seven zero. Roger. Oh my god! They just they keep coming from every angle. There's so many. It's it's like <laughs> it's, it's like we hit a herd, and they're just fleeing in every possible direction. I don't think we've been detected. Yeah, it's not the shore even like in the ballpark. She's trying to ping. Sounds pretty weak, though. Split crane, funnel, split crane, superstructure. Split crane, split crane. I think there are multiple destroyers. Passing to the right of 210. Have tanker type 30, 160, 14 knots, 30 height, 30 height, we're getting 7. Okay, give me um, 400 meters. I don't know. Actually, just give me. Yeah, okay, give me 500 meters on something going seven knots. Oh man, the angle valve is not going to be good. Actually, just give me free fire again. Give me two tubes length, let's say 70 meters. Or 100 meters. Let's make it 100 meters. Steady up on this course. Rudder midship, I should say. Steady so that's on a six degrees for Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay. And everything else is set, right? Zero speed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna hit that one. That's a heavy tanker. Type 30, 15,000 tons. The passenger liner, unfortunately, is like far off to our right. Two three just came it is ready now, so it's just insane man, there's so many damn ships to choose from. Holy cow, and this one's like okay. This is gonna be passing on our left. Way too close right now. Let me just see if this is gonna hit. Should get at least one hit. Still have one available? Yeah, tube three just became available. I think we missed with both of these. All right, well, just for for my sake, can you give me zero speed, z just one torpedo, no spread? Yep. On this angle, zero speed. Yep. Ready? Tube three, ready. Close. I mean the thing is so close. How can this how can these torpedoes be missing? I'm gonna leave my targeting reticle right where this is. So that I know when she should hit or when she definitely won't. Do they have like deflections built into this game? Do you think? I highly doubt that. So if it hits it detonates, right? Yeah. Well this thing's I mean, okay, thirty knots. Tube one ready. Should have hit by now. See? It's weird. Well, I don't understand. 30 seconds from a target that was like 400 meters away, and it's still in my reticle. Oh, I did get it. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. Forget that. <laughs> there you go. It actually did work. Oh, the flares have. Are we surfaced? No. Oh. Um, flares are going up everywhere. What the hell? I wonder why. Why did this happen? Like, <laughs> why did we sink three ships, and they suddenly are only aware of us now? 
Guess I realized they weren't just hitting mines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me zero speed again. One torpedo. Sorry, coming back up. Ready? Yep, two, one, ready. Los. Only three torpedoes left. I think he came to a dead stop. Thank God I aimed. Yeah, he did come to a dead stop. But thankfully I aimed right where he is currently. And this guy's hauling butt. I hear torpedoes. I hear merchant ships. Got him. This is crazy, man. So what? I haven't even heard of what torpedo sounds like. I'm. It. It sounds like a, like the merchants are foam, 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 uh -huh. and the destroyers are like foam, 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 foam. It's a little bit higher pitch and a little bit faster. Uh -huh. The torpedoes sound like. Whoosh, 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 okay, whoosh. got it. <laughs> like they're Good they're impression. very high pitched. Like you can hear them churning up the water. Give me one more torpedo, speed zero. Yeah, they're not loaded. Okay, got it. Maybe we finally got close enough to one of them that they spotted the uh, pair. And that's why they sent up flares. Yeah, it's absolutely possible. But it's incredible that... Um... Um... Okay. Two, two, Take right. us under. Take us okay. under. Okay. Crash dive. Yeah, the pinging sounds Crash pretty dive. significant right now. Full speed. I got the dive planes full. All head full. Flooding. I got it. Full speed. Thank you. That close. Using the negative. Yep, we already have it. And who's on the hydrophones? Or what? Just tell me where you guys are, because I can't see you, unfortunately. Dive planes. Where okay, are you? I'm on hydrophones. Okay. 170 pinging. Yeah, I'd just been on them when you guys were starting to say it because I was like, that pinging sounds really strong. Uh, I have two pings. Two ships pinging. That's okay. 290170. Passing below 040. I'll blow the negative when we get below 120. The shore pretty much due north now. Where was he when he spotted him? Uh, just astern of us. It was the, it's, uh, I think it's an arm trawler, or it might be a flower. I couldn't tell. All I know oh, is it's just come right at us, so. Two, two of them have plastic, so. Okay, so it must have been a flower. Yeah. Passing below zero, eight, zero. All right, I'm gonna zero the Odo. So oh, it oh, you shouldn't have done that because I, I already it, Don't had... worry, it stores it. It stores it. It was 450 meters. Oh, right. So it stores this, the last one. But I zeroed it just in case it hadn't been done. Passing below 100. Going to the nav chart, update our position. Roger. Sorry. No, nah, it's all good. Okay, blowing my negative. Blowing the negative. Slowing down to all ahead half. Full right rudder. Nope, sorry, full left rudder to go away from the destroyer. Hydrophones? How do you do? I have one destroyer at 330, another one at 120. 330 relative or true? Relative. Oh, shoot. Okay, coming back on the rudder. Right. Yeah, they're all around us. <laughs> All these merchant ships are making it kind of difficult to pick them up on, too. How deep do you want us? Maybe around 200. Okay. B 
be curious how accurate my navigation is since I have not been able to give it justice. Alright, we set it up on 260. Okay, one of them's in the baffles. Alright, negative is vacated. One's at 100. Relative. Yeah, one's behind us. I think they're just circling above us. Alright, and I'm gonna slow down to all ahead. Slow. Can you give me the relatives again? Yeah, one sec. Good job, Lachius. That's very helpful to one see. One four zero. One four zero. On one of them, yeah. Okay. I mean, you can give me the relative or the true. I'm staring at the rudder, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, all mines in relative. Got it. Okay, one four zero, which is like thirty. Uh, yeah, one nine zero. Okay, just dead astern. Okay, good. Yeah, they're both seem to be behind us. Alright, I'm gonna swing the rudder left. I'm gonna come left to 220, or so just like 30 degrees, uh, 20, 40 degrees left. Let me know if. How much, like, movement. When you. When. Uh, I basically don't want the destroyer dead astern. I wanna kinda get a range on her. So I wanna see how much she moves, how much her radius moves based on our movement. Or, you know, how much jiggle she has in her radial angle will tell us how close she is. Setting up on 240. Okay, one's at 330. I think what? they're pa passed over. They just passed over us? Yeah. Alright. I didn't hear any splashes or anything. Okay, full right rudder. Coming right again to 270. True. Yeah, I think that's a good course. Because they kind of have... They're on either side of us now. Well, it's good that they passed over us, but we... I didn't hear them pinging in the boat. It was only on hydrophones that you are hearing it. So yeah, maybe good. they just circled. Uh, it's kind of hard to keep track of both of these. Yeah. And they're moving so quickly. Doing very good on ter in terms of compressed air. I have full up on the dive planes. You're at the nav chart, right, Lekius? I was. Oh, okay. Need, uh, I, full up. I can't see you, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because the bilge is going to take on water, and I don't want us to drop too fast. Uh, going slow speed, I don't think that we'll even be able to counteract the bilge. But, I mean, the, the water pooling in the bilge. Oh, yeah, you can. Well, at slow speed, it won't be a little bit more difficult. Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> I might even take us to dead slow, because they don't currently know... Well, I guess slow is fine. They don't currently know our position, so we'll just drift down out of here. I think this is going to be a really successful mission. Can I get their relative course again? They just stopped pinging. Um, one four zero for one of them. One four zero, Roger. The other one, it's kind of mingled the rest of the convoy. Uh, so was that like one sec? Maybe zero six zero. I don't know. They're they completely stopped pinging. Okay.
That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even get depth charged. Yeah, they gave up pretty easily. That was great, man. We got under very quickly. Just exceptional work all around. And we almost sank double our goal. <laughs> I'd like to come up and see what's still there. So what's the direction of the convoy at this point? Um, you said 060 relative? Or 060 true? I thought that would have been like 180 from us, or like a 100 true. Please give it in Drew. I'll draw a line. Yeah, we're st we're still dropping. I'm gonna go up to. I feel like we're still kind of in the middle. Cause right. I hear just them on all sides. Interesting. From three one zero. Their original heading was one two zero, wasn't it? I mean, maybe they scattered, but yeah, I hear. Okay, I'm gonna make my heading one zero zero, and let's bring ourselves up to periscope depth. I'm getting half speed so that we can actually climb. Destroyers aren't close, are they? No. I'm gonna use the bilge. It's pretty loud, I think. Yeah, I was thinking about that. There's not a lot in it, but... I mean, it can it, it can prevent you from surfacing, so... <laughs> I think we have to. I, I don't know, like, I tried an experiment by fully flooding the bilge, and then uh, seeing if you could do it without blowing the main tanks, and you can. Oh, okay, that's good to know. But you have to be going full speed, though. The, um, it's slow. That's good to know. That's very good to know. We're coming up. We just passed above 180. Very good. After this, Wolfpack had to leave. Uh, so Luckius and I surfaced the boat. We found the convoy and actually went after another ship again. But the destroyers detected us, and we ended up just being chased by the destroyers for another 40 minutes or so. So I'm going to skip to the very end where we had the concluding scene. Um, so we can see what our, our final score and torpedo hit ratio was. Well, there you have it, a hit ratio of 62%, which is not too bad. It could be better. I noticed in the process of editing the video that uh, I messed up a few times. At one point, I think I said 12 for the center radiant count, and it was actually 17. Although I'm not sure, we might have still got a hit off that. Anyways, I'm still learning. This is the whole point of being a captain, is that if you survive, you at least learn from your mistakes. And we'll continue to do that. So, I really enjoy this game. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider pressing the like button. But for now, that's going to do it for us. So I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care. Son of a...